Yep, 92. So it is 8.32 on Friday. We're going to do a half an hour because I am tired and I know Michelle is too. Yeah, I'm tired, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll start with any questions. Does anyone have questions? Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. That was very sweet. <laughs> Hi, Olga. Hi, guys. Oh, <sighs> <Lynn, what? laughs> my saints at work. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> Yeah, you got Thank all the you, wishes. See? Hey, hey Robert, how are you guys? feeling? Hope hey. you're feeling good. Somebody's got drinking her bellies and toast to Marianne's birthday until the admins, Jean Cullen Jimenez. <laughs> hey, Rosemary. Oh, we got 20,000 Facebook followers? Uh-huh. Says... We're over 20,000 today. Oh, nice. Uh, yesterday, actually. I think we went over by 10. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So Gerard Nelson says, I believe the city council will introduce a bill to protect active and retired members' health care from being diminished. Do you know when that will be? No. Nope, even my magic eight ball can say and tell you that one. Any news from the mayor? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even seeing that. Well, I guess I'm ahead of you. <laughs> Plus my internet is sluggish. I don't know. It Gerald, why do you believe that? Because I haven't heard that. Do you know what that's about? <laughs> Grazie, Claudia. <laughs> Ellen wants to know, can we see what the city filed with the Court of Appeals asking for an appeal? Actually, that was very interesting, Ellen. They didn't upload it into NYSIF. It was actually a letter that was mailed to our attorney. And I don't know if I have a copy of that, but I'll look on the weekend. And Elderman, was Mulgrew at a meeting yesterday? Yes. <laughs> I think Len and Mike and Serena Mia were there. <laughs> Ellen Monshine said Mulgrew is saying no deal with Aetna. Well, there's no deal yet, but they're still talking with Aetna. Thank you, Francine. Laura. Does anyone have a question? Any, anything? <laughs> no questions. Thank you, Arlene. All right. So we have a couple of things, nothing major today. I say, Diane, you both look really, really tired. <laughs> yep. Is that the nice way of saying you look like crap? <laughs> I'd say you look like crap. <laughs> yes, Deborah, I got the e emails from uh, CSA. I, I, I saw it. Thank you. I did get everybody's emails. I did answer almost everybody. I think there was like a couple left. So, but thank you. When is the court date for the co-pays? 
I think it's in February, right? End of February? Um, we don't have a date for the preliminary injunction, but the end of February is is when the main case gets um, picked back up at the Supreme Court. Okay. Why would Aetna want us when they now know we don't want them? <laughs> I don't know. Are we going to have homework next week? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Um, uh, maybe. Not yet. Not yet. We don't know. Not yet. There's something else we're planning, but it's not ready yet. Okay. Francine Danza, when is the next court date? Is it scheduled? Um, the end of February. Right, that would be for the copay. Other than that, that's it. That's all we got on that. Is the 20,000 number just Facebook? Yes. There's like another 15,000 on our list serve and another few thousand um, on our social media. And when I say that, I mean like Twitter, YouTube, right. Instagram. Is there any way there could be consequences for the arbitrator? I don't really know that answer, Ellen, that someone was gonna call like the AAA or something um, and I don't mean the Auto Club of America, I mean like the yeah, Arbitration Association. Someone was gonna, going to call and I don't know if they ever did. I just, we've been too busy to do that. Janet says, we can't necessarily see the comments. So it would be great if you could read and respond. So Janet, you could, should be able to see every single comment because we could see every comment, just keep scrolling through them and then you can go back later and and watch them. Um, Ellen says, I love the truck that you sent to the city council area thanking them. <laughs> well, you know, you have to do the right thing. That's what we're about, right? <laughs> Thank you, Carl. I am not seeing any other questions. George Roman, is this ever going to be over? We hope so. What's the matter, George? You getting sick of us? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Roberta. Is Mayor Adams offering the homeless better insurance than us? Well, Charney, you might want to ask the Daily News that. <laughs> I think that was their front page today. Um, Could you give a quick update of where we stand? So Arlene, we, we're basically kind of in a holding pattern. The city appealed our first case win from the appellate court. So they made a leave for appeal to the high court. We're waiting to see if they'll even take it. They may not because it was unanimous decision out of the first department, but that's one. Um, the co class action copay case was filed and the, with the preliminary injunction. We won the preliminary injunction. The city appealed like 12 hours later. That is headed towards the appellate uh, First Department Appellate Court. That's two. The meat and potatoes of the class action is still in Supreme Court before Judge Lyle Frank. That's three. And if the city decides to pull the nuclear option, guess what? That's a fourth case. <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to know why I color my hair every three weeks now. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Jean Martinelli Catito, I went to the doctor yesterday and today received an email for my copay. Man, that was fast. <laughs> I called billing and was told to hold on paying and to call back next week. They did not know, not know about the court order. Yeah, so just tell them to call Emblem. Emblem, Emblem will definitely tell them that any charge past January 12th is Emblem line that you don't have to pay um but we'll see what happens don't not see the doctor because they're asking you for the copay if that just comes up just pay the copay and take the keep the receipt right so i have been getting some email updates from everybody who has been dealing with 
the doctor's offices lately in the last like couple of days. So it seems that Emblem is getting their act together. So um, as of today, I believe somebody went to Mount Sinai and um, Emblem actually told them that they didn't have to pay the co-pays before the PI and after the PI. So the word's getting out there. Um, somebody else had said that there has been an issue with um, Northwell. Okay, out in Long Island. Um, I am, we are aware of it. Um, Marianne and I spoke about it earlier today and we will handle that on Monday. Okay, so um, don't worry, we're on it. So we'll handle that. But like Marianne said, just hold on to your receipts. We don't want you to miss an appointment. And, you know, but again, a lot of people have been talking to billing. They're sending them the PI and they're either wiping it off the map or they're just, it, it's done, you know, so again, you know, just don't miss an appointment, you know, if they, you know, say if you don't pay, then just pay it, keep a receipt, and move along. So Michael Eddington says, what's the status of the proposal to change the admin code to protect retirees from future attempts? So we are made, made the proposal, but right now the council is um, just still looking into it. We have to wait. It's got like a process it's got to go through. Thank you, Alan. Janet, 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 just go back when this is over and look at the comments later or just scroll back up. <laughs> Sounds like a Rocky Horror Picture Show, Janet. <laughs> like Marja, Marja, Marja. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ellen says, are you going to do an online survey regarding the 2022 co-pays in major hospitals and doctors groups and that? No. Why do you keep giving me more homework, Ellen? Like, I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um, William, I haven't heard any more from, okay. Uh, I did thank her for the reply. Um, I would give her a week, honey, and if she doesn't email back, you might just want to ping her and say, hey, did you forget me? Give her a week. Because I think she knows the answer. She just doesn't want to tell you. Because <laughs> we know the answer, right, William? <laughs> So Jordan, she says uh, Columbia Presbyterian wants a copy of the court papers. No problem. Uh, they are on our Facebook page. If not, uh, email me. I'll give you a copy. I have them They're on also on our website under announcements. Right. So I've been sending them out when people ask. Laura, I don't know if I didn't see the article in the chief blaming us for stalling their contract negotiations. If that's the case, I'll go look. But I know the city, as in the city, the newspaper actually was like intimating it was kind of our fault, but um, how is it your fault when you're defending yourself from being robbed by people who should protect you? I really don't understand that, but you know, that's gonna be the messaging that they put out because they don't wanna take the blame that they did something wrong. But remember something too, active workers are finally recognizing that their union presidents either were fed misinformation or were keeping information from them. So, so knowing that we've been trying to say for the last year that the Municipal Labor Committee, when they hold their general membership meetings, those are all the presidents that go. That the presidents are saying that they really weren't understanding exactly what was happening or why they were being asked to do something or that they were fed something that was potentially misinformation, but they went along with it because they were told it was the only way. And because that happened, they kept getting co-pays sacked on them, their networks reduced, their healthcare diminished. And then when there was nothing really that they wanted to put in place that would impact them, they came after us. And so they figured no one was gonna mess with us because we're not, well, they don't represent us. We don't pay their dues. We don't elect them, right? We don't vote on their contracts. They figured, oh, that'd be an easy steal. That's like taking candy from a baby, no problem. So, so but the now the actives are actually starting to realize that their union presidents were misleading them 
And whether or not that they did it on purpose or they didn't say anything because they didn't want pushback or they felt that they didn't need to bring this issue to the general membership, now you've waken up them. I don't mean you as in you, I mean like we, like everybody. They're all awake now. Like we're awake, the retirees are awake, the employees are awake and everyone's going, what the hell's going on? So Francis Borman says, I have a brother who's a retired firefighter. He turned 65 on January 19th. He signed up for Medicare and was sent Medicare Advantage. He called OLR and can't get through it anymore. He's been sending emails to OLR, no replies. Any suggestions? Send an email to the org um, with that information. And I will get back to you and I will uh, tell you what to do. Or we have, I have questions. We're not going to do that on a live you know, on this, so. Yeah, we need to know what, when you write that message to Michelle, please tell us what plan you were in. Right, because some people don't understand that if you were in HIP, that when you go into HIP, VIP, that that is the Medicare Advantage plan. That is the, the when you turn 65, it it's right. You get switched over. So just let me know what plan he's in and we'll we'll lead you in the right direction. And you know, you guys too, they're asking about the co-pays on your cards. If you go into, if you log into Emblem, you should be able to download a card. And I'm hoping that they updated, I have not looked. But if you log into your Emblem, into your emblem.com or whatever the hell, emblemhealth.com, you should be able to download a card from right there. Let's hope that it doesn't say co-pays. If it does, I would just say white it out. <laughs> no, but actually somebody told me today, that they asked for new cards and it said zero copay. I saw that someone actually posted a picture, but yes. you should be able to do it online. You should be able right. to print it up online. Right, but somebody actually requested cards and it said zero copay. Okay. So, so that was that was like good news. I was like, oh, check that out. <laughs> Roberta Gonzalez, any chance you all being brought to the table for budget discussion? That's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know next week. <laughs> I might need bodyguards, just saying. <laughs> Roberta, is, where's Roberta? She's probably going to have to come in her shark outfit. <laughs> Gerald, we get blamed for everything. Yes, we do, Gerald. Well, Roberta, it is a class action. <laughs> Your name doesn't need to be on it. Just tell them to call Emblem. Yeah. Roz Waxman Epstein. Tell her to swipe left on an iPad to see the comments. I didn't was she on an iPad? I don't I don't know if Janet's on an iPad. Janet, Roz says if you're on an iPad, swipe left. <laughs> Is that like a Tinder thing? Swipe left, swipe right? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. That's very funny. Was with my council person, Vicki Palladino, last night, and only good words about you got. I know, I love Vicki. She's a hoot. Serena Mia, the Queens team had a great time giving the UFT and blue suits in New Hyde Park. I heard you were raising trouble, Serena Mia. <laughs> Millie Redstein, I'm in New Jersey and being told by doctor's offices they'll wait for EOB from insurance, but some don't want the court order, but I'm getting billed anyway instead of paying during the visit. Okay, so like we said, when we've been saying, Millie, just give them the copy of the court order. It's on our website. If you can't find it, just email us. We'll help you get to it. Give it to them. But if the doctor insists on having the copay in order to see you, just pay the damn copay and keep the receipt. You'll be fine. If we win, you're supposed to get it back. He's on a Mac. You had breakfast with Kevin today? 
Yeah, I went down to the city quick. I did a quick day trip. That's why I was on the choo-choo when you <laughs> called me. I was like, where the hell did you go? I know we didn't have breakfast with me. No, no, I, I took a quick trip. See, I came off the mountain and I went to the EMS breakfast. <laughs> oh my gosh. I messaged Emblem for a new card senior care without the copay. Is he online? They never responded. This was about a week ago. Now let's see what, just go look online. Just looked at Emblem online and our cards still say copay. I would say print it out and white it out, then photocopy it again. <laughs> just like we used to forge notes in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Genovese, I'll be on, I'll be Medicare eligible this August. Thanks to the incredible work you have done, my husband was able to stay on Emblem Senior Care. Hopefully we won't fall in some black hole as the city nuclear option rams through or evade. <sighs> Roberta Gonzalez says, comes a sheep's head bay. <laughs> I would just say make a photocopy of your card and um, white it out, white out the copay shit, photocopy it again and stick it in your wallet. I mean, you'll be fine. Listen, like I said, a lot of I've been getting a lot of emails in the last two days and Emblem is actually. They're, they're catching up, so they, they got the memo and they're actually catching up and, you know, the ho the hospitals and they're starting to. Yeah, even Janet saying she just went to the Emblem site and, and it has still has co-pays on it. I'll message them on the weekend and let them know they need to fix that. Right. There you go, Ann. I'm using my old card that states no copay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Very crazy. Yes, it's my birthday today. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I can't hide much from you guys. <laughs> Darren Thomas Dooley, I use my old card, no fuss. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. What are you crying for? I see that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ellen Reiser, please Jane, thank Joe for the Cafe Press merch. I'm looking forward to her mug. <laughs> so that was the other update that the store is open and that we're doing well. So proceeds do go towards the donations. So buy your merchandise. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Yep, and we did, um, what? and we did uh, change our Venmo address. So just make sure you update that. Right. Laura says, I just learned that New York City deregulated hospital costs in 96. It's sick that that hasn't been reversed. So that actually happened under Pataki and that was a statewide rule. Um, that wasn't a city thing, that was a state rule. We've actually been talking about that, but I don't, you know, what can I tell you? So Don DeBella says, is this correct? The supposed $600 million savings, if true, would go into the stabilization fund and not the city's operating budget. So how can they even intimate that this has anything to do with the current salary contract negotiations? Oh, Don, that will make us be here more than the next three minutes, but I'm just going to tell you, um, yes, uh, it is true that the $600 million is an exaggeration because according to the controller reports, I believe for 2021, the cost was for senior, for Medicare, for Medicare eligible retirees, $439 million, not $600 million. And that was going into the stabilization fund. So it would not be a um, 
savings to the city taxpayers. But how would his question is, um, how would it have anything to do with current salary contract negotiations? Because that was a citywide arrangement to fund the health insurance stabilization fund, which has been misused by both the Municipal Labor Committee and the City of New York. And because they needed needed more money in that fund, uh, basically the union's contract negotiations were based upon those quote unquote savings agreements. So since the savings, that savings did not come to fruition, you know, we did a video on that on YouTube. We called it, un, uh, the city has unfunded, unions are, unions raises are unfunded or something. Um, go take a peek, you'll, you'll see that. Look for that video. Did Aetna withdraw? No, they did not. They're still in negotiations. So the new Venmo address, um is the same address except there's a number two at the end right and Dennis Weiss asked what t-shirts um we have a cafe press store and go I think the link, right go into featured and the um the web address is there and then there's items that you can look and purchase and some of the proceeds go towards our donations uh, Lorraine asks if there are any sweatshirts, zip or pullover coming. So we did ask Joe to take a look at that if he would um, look for a few. I know some people were looking for some plus sizes and we're looking into seeing what they offer. Remember, it's not what we liked about this store was that we just upload the logo and then pick some really cool tchotchkes that, you, that people might want, but we're at the mercy of what they offer. So if they if we don't find some of that, then we'll, we'll what we'll try to do is um, do something else where we can maybe print up a few uh, of our logos on an iron on or something, and then you can just do a DIY you know at home, just buy the iron on and put it on whatever sweatshirt you want. But let give us a chance to take a peek, see if we can find you something. Yes, love and thanks to Joe. Yeah, it was just easier because they print up everything, they do everything, they ship everything. And it was one less thing we had to do because if we had to do it, we'd have to take orders and then deal with whatever. And it was just, we're just so busy right now. It was just, I just didn't want to take on one more thing. This is like, this is like a cool stuff. And if you're not familiar with Cafe Press, you can go up there, you can pretty much find just about anything you want. It's kind of like an Etsy store, you know, where people will make things for you or you can upload something and make it yourself. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So it's nine o'clock. And if you guys don't have any more questions, I think I'm gonna say good night. <laughs> so there was a couple of, um, so Madeline's doing fine. I saw a couple of questions asking how Madeline's doing. She's doing good. So I just wanted to answer those because I saw a couple that popped on. So um, on the net, I think that's it. And right? our button would be nice. Aetna still in negotiations with the city. That's a violation of the arbitrators. Well, remember, he's an arbitrator by trade, but in this situation, he was not an arbitrator. He was acting as chair of the tripartite, and he was supposed to be a neutral, but I don't really think he's neutral. So that's a whole other story, and we'd be here another half an hour. Yeah, no, unless we could ramble on. <laughs> and I love the idea of the voodoo doll of Mulgrew and the pin, the tail on the ass. <laughs> I thought I had my doll around here somewhere. I think, right, we're charged for Venmo and PayPal and all that. I mean, we get a, we get charged a, a fee, right? Well, for PayPal, you can add the fee to the donation to help offset the cost. I know. Okay. So as always, you know, as I always say, you know, we thank you, everybody out there in Zoom land and everybody all over the country, you know, because again, without you guys, we wouldn't be here to fight. 
So, you know, I thank the moderators and Joe and everybody, you know, so. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Thank you uh, for hanging in there with us and putting up with all of our crazy, <laughs> all of our homework you did. And if you're just tuning in late, no yeah, more. Homework. And that's right. And that and that was it. You don't have to thank. We no more thank you. No more homework this weekend. No more thank yous. We're shutting down the thank yous. Right. Um, Maybe next week you won't have homework. That'll be really good. <laughs> yeah, right. But no, but you guys have been great. You know, keep up the good work when, you know, we do ask you to do your homework. You know, you guys have been spot on. So stay tuned and, um, you know, we'll let you know and we'll keep you posted. You know, and again, as always, you know, um, if we have anything to post, we'll put it up on the page. And um, if anything breaks, same thing. <laughs> and um, you guys enjoy the weekend and hopefully we will too. And, and that's that. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to the admins. Thank you to Joe. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for all the, all the birthday wishes and have a good weekend. Remember, we will um, be closing the, po the posts down tonight and you'll, they'll reopen on Monday morning. So enjoy yourselves. Have a great weekend and we'll see you then. Love you guys. Right. Ciao. <laughs>